Hey guys, Andy Tran here with the Inner Bark Outdoors channel. If it's your first time here, welcome. I do weekly videos on the outdoor survival do-it-yourself and reviews. And in this video, I wanted to do a review on the Harbor Freight Chainsaw Sharpener. This little thing is uh, something that I picked up to help me with all the woodwork that I'm doing here at the cabin. Um, I don't like to sharpen individual chains if I don't have to. Um, I'd rather just have you know three or four chains that I swap it on the saw and then just sharpen everything else um, when I'm on my downtime. And so I decided to get this to speed it up and um, when people hear Harbor Freight they don't associate it with high quality and that might be true for some of their items but you know if you cherry pick look at reviews look at the design you can actually figure out what actually works well so you don't have to spend a hundred dollars on a chainsaw sharpener. So this one was $29 uh, and that's without the 20% coupon. And so if you get that coupon, obviously it's gonna be a little bit cheaper. I'm gonna go over some of the design features and let you know how it works for my saw. I secured the sharpener to a board using some screws that I had lying around. These just happen to be metal roofing screws. The base has a vise which holds the drive link during the sharpening operation so it doesn't move around. The vise is actuated by a lever that's on the handle. A moving metal flap presses against the back of the cutter and sets the amount of material taken off. The little knob on the vise adjusts the metal flap and has a locking ring for consistency, so you can cut the left and right cutters exactly the same. To keep your hands out of the work area, there are two sprockets that are driven by little knobs. A knob on the bottom of the base loosens the vise so you can adjust the angle of the cutting edge. 30 degrees is common for a standard chain, and 10 degrees is what you would see on a ripping chain. A locking knob on the top sets the cutting build depth. I have mine set up to stop just short of the side plate and the tie strap. The motor was a lot quieter than I expected, as some of Harbor Freight's tools are obnoxiously loud. The sharpener also didn't make my generator rev up much when I filmed this, so I suspect that a small invert would work if you're using this in a remote location. I took the sharpening easy so that I didn't overheat the cutter and ruin the heat treat. Once I got the rhythm of sharpening, I was able to breeze through several chains that I set aside. I let the weight of the saw do the work while testing the sharpness and the tracking of the bar. The chain was tracking straight through the wood and the weight of the saw was sufficient enough to cut through this really quickly. I was getting nice large chunks of sawdust instead of that fine powdery dust that indicates a dull chain. And bore cuts were just as easy as a fresh factory chain. Cutting with the grain produced really nice ribbons of wood as well.
So that is my review of the Harbor Freight Chainsaw Sharpener. Overall, I think this thing is pretty good. Um, you know, I sharpened a few chains during this demo and it went by super, super fast. Um, also, the fact that it is kind of in a vise clamped down, the chain seems to be a lot more consistent. Um, you know, when I have the hand file and I'm doing it by hand, there's a little bit of variance and um, I could definitely tell there's a few degrees of variance when I was using this because, you know, one part of the tooth would grind faster than the other. Overall, I think this is pretty good. A couple things that I would change. I would probably change the design of the little sprocket wheels here. Uh, when I was spinning it to advance the chain, sometimes it would skip on the, um, on the drive link. Not a huge deal, but uh, overall, I think this is pretty good. You know, $29 less if you have a coupon and you can sharpen, you know, three, four or five chains within probably a half hour and save yourself a lot of time from hand filing. So if you got other things to do around the house, want to speed up your process, you have long days out on, uh, on the yard. And um, especially if you have bars that are over 20 inches long, this is something that you should definitely look into. If you guys enjoy the video, please like, share and subscribe. And also check out the Facebook page, Instagram and other social media. It really helps you know these are the kind of videos you want to see. But as always, take care out there. Bye.